Hiram feast is all about sacrificing animals to save man. Commemorating the story of how God saved Ismail after he and his father Abraham yielded to God's orders. To this day, people sacrifice what they can of sheep or cow according to their financial capabilities. A third of this sacrifice is distributed to the poor. حاسس الواحد بيعمل خير جمعيات الناس اللي بتضحي الكلام ده انت بتعمل خير للناس وحاجه يعني عيد فرحه للناس كلها Man should be kind to the animals being sacrificed its legs are tied and it is laid down and slain in the same style ancient Egyptians would slay their beasts thousands of years ago والله قال في العيد في فرحه للذبيح تبص تلاقي الأطفال وده هايز وده هايز وده هايز بتبقى أنت من جواك سعيد بالحاجة ديست. A single cow can take up to half an hour for the butcher to complete his job. أول حاجة الدبح يجلي الدبح بعد كده يسلخ بعد كده يتجوف إيه معنى التجويف؟ يعني تطلع الكرش تطلع المنبار لوحده تطلع مثلا الكبدة لوحديها القلب لوحده الكلاوي لوحديها وتنظف اللحم بالميز كويس وبعد كده العجل يشط اربع تربع ويتعلق ويشف The cow is then de-skinned It almost looks like it's taking off its jacket This leather is the focus of our story today In downtown Cairo just behind the monumental Magral Ayun wall are the shops specialized in turning this fur into leather through a process called tanning. The fur is then put in this wooden machine to be washed. The worker then takes the washed and dry product and removes all the wool from the skin's surface. And then the salting stage begins. This <laughs> عشان يبك الملح الدم اللي فيه تمام بعد كده بيخش مرحله حاجه اسمها اساس المطنار بملح تمام بعد كده بيطلع من الاساس بيجي لي على المكنه انا بشتغل بيه على المكنه بشيل الدنيات اللي عليه اللحم اللي عليه وبخليه ايه سنك محدد تمام بعد كده بيستنى دفع الكروم ياخدها بعد ما بيطلع بالكروم بيستنى 3 4 ايام ويتسبغ سباغه كده يروح ماكينه شد بيجي من الشد بيتكسر وبيطلع لل للزبائن بتاعته The leather pieces are now in their final shape, yet some pieces are still hung on the walls outside the shop and on the sides of the arches of the monumental wall of Magral Ayun. Buyers know that this is the specialized market for leather, but tanning leather doesn't come cheap. For a cow, it can cost up to 850 Egyptian pounds, and a sheep, a minimum of 150. Quite a thriving business in the walk of a religious sacrifice. This is Hassan Labib for AUC TV.